What's up everybody? I am Jeremy from Welltech Designs and we are back at it to show you another killer RV build right here. This thing's awesome. Love it. And what's even better about it is you're going to meet Mac, the owner. And these guys are truly on just a roundabout and not even here in just in the US, but they're going everywhere. You know, it's, it's awesome. Totally envious. Love it. But Let's talk about what we did to this thing and you can see just how high it sits on here is you know it, you love it. It's our Baja grocery getter kit up front specifically for the RVs. Um, and what the difference is, is it's we're running a different coil and a different shock in here than we normally run in our Baja grocery getter kit. And it's really going to give us a true about six inches of lift in this RV. So it's giving us a ton of height. Um, and you know we've covered that in some of the other videos so if you want to see more on our rv kits i'll throw up a card right here and you can check out some of the other rvs that we've done so we've also done the sway bar drop bracket on this and another thing that we did on the front of this which is really cool is we added a front mounted hitch so you can see that on here so now he's able to carry a bike rack on the front of this and be able to put bikes on there which is awesome and you're probably wondering why there's not bikes on there is because the day before this thing got dropped off somebody stole his bikes so rah, rah, rah. so what's cool is in the back of this thing we did our custom leaf springs in the back of this wow watch out do you see how big that slide is it just like jumped out that's what i love about these things and we're gonna jump on the inside of this to show you but that's like two feet of additional storage. It's also got another window, which is great. And as we jump to the back of this thing, which we did our custom springs in this to get it the height that we wanted in there. And man, we're gonna have to totally go underneath this. This is awesome how big this pop out is. It's almost the full length of the RV. And when you poke your head in there, you'll see the custom springs in there. Now what's nice about this is when you get it lifted up, now he has additional clearance on the back of this and as you can see he's hauling this giant bike up on there i just want to be like this thing's awesome i just want to go ride this should have i should have jumped on this thing before he loaded it up because this looks like a ton of fun right here so, but you can see in the past where he used to drag this thing all the time because the back of this sat so low. Another thing I want to point out, Austin's doing circles over here. I got my Casey Neistat sunglasses on, you know, because it's sunny out here today, but no hat. I, need to, I should steal Austin's hat, protect that dome. But you can see also down here, which is really nice now with the lift on how much clearance this has from the ground, which is kind of funny that they put this in the back at an ultra low point in the motorhome. Not really the best design, I don't know. Maybe it works for most of you guys. And you know, if you guys have an RV that's like this, I wanna say this is probably about a 22 footer. We'll make sure we ask Mac. Um, but have you ever torn that off? Any problems with it? I would love to hear. Um, comment below, let me know. I wanna make sure I don't get up and just hit my head in this thing, cause that's gonna hurt. So, enough about the outside. Well, let's see, Fox shocks in the rear, check. Custom springs in the rear, check, yep. And then another cheat that we did is we lowered the sway bar, um, something pretty easy, and we'll probably have to do a how-to video on that, so when that video comes, you'll see a card right there. So, and mad props to Mac right there, US Marines. All right guys, and this is Mac and Christy, the proud owners of this RV, and this is a 24 foot RV. And how long have you guys had this? We've had this about six months. And you guys are just going crazy. We are going nuts. Yeah, so tell us, where are some of the places that you guys have been so far? We actually live in Hawaii, and we bought this uh, RV out of South Carolina. We took it to Phoenix, got it ready to go, and we have been all over from the western part all the way up to the Canadian border so far. That's where we've been so far. In, uh, in about three and a half months, we put 9,000 miles on this motor. So Two. all over New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, Idaho, Oregon, California, went to Burning Man, had fun there. The Black Hills, South Dakota, where we got in a little trouble because we didn't have high clearance. 
we didn't have the tires we needed and we ended up having to pull out a hacksaw or he did and saw in branches because we were trying to get out of this spot but now we're confident so now i can't wait to see pictures of where you guys take this thing that totally looking forward to seeing that because now the next destination might be baja the so it could be baja i love that they're like mm, i don't know yet we haven't decided and I know you guys love seeing this beautiful face showing you everything, but you know what? She's way better to look at, so I think we should have her, have Christy is gonna be our tour guide for the inside of this thing. So me and Mac, we're gonna hang out out here. You guys, let's, you guys have fun. Go check this thing out inside, it's <laughs> awesome. Buzzsaw here, Christy's the other name, but I go by Buzzsaw on the road. Come on in. I just loosened up all. So welcome inside. It's a little bit dirtier than we uh, usually have it, but that's because we've been gone, etc. And so you got back here a queen size bed. Uh, it pushes out with the slide, plenty of room. We've uh, customized the television, moved a bigger one back here. Uh, bathroom, full bathroom, plenty of room with the toilet, a uh, nice shower, sink. Uh, everything you need here for the cooking area, plenty of storage space, a uh, nice overhead cab that we've, uh, or the space up here which we've converted to storage because we don't need the bed. And then plenty of room to sit here. Another bed comes up if you drop the table. And here's the map where we plot our course. Hard to see, but you can see we've been all through the west here. And where we go from here, we don't know. That's part of the beauty of being on the road. Giddy up, go. So. I have to love these guys. Christy, super smart. Seven languages. Eight languages. Eight languages. PhD, two masters, but no common sense. Okay. Dude, I love it. I mean, how? Do, I mean, it's awesome. It's so, a trip. great time meeting you guys. Any last? I mean, what do you guys? Let me tell you. We were in Glacier National Park, freezing our buns off, and I'm looking at YouTube videos, and I found these guys. I found Jeremy on a YouTube video, and. We've taken this RV, if you look how dirty it is, we go where you shouldn't go in an RV. And I started watching those YouTubes and I went, wow, this is something that we gotta have. So we contacted them, they've been great from the start. They were informative, they told me what it was gonna cost me, told me what they were gonna do. So we drove the RV all the way from Glacier down to here, dropped it off with them, and I'm telling you what, they have done a great job. I've taken it out on the road, I've driven it, it's great. And these guys were just super, we're super proud of the work that they did, and we highly, highly, highly recommend them. And once we get out there on the road and we get our butts in trouble again, we're gonna send them some video to show you of what this thing can do out there on the road and up in those mountains. So that, we say aloha. Yeah, that's the best. That's and when you you guys finally get back to Hawaii, that's when I'm like, you got to give me a call and I'm gonna come out and visit you guys then. You know, come on down, brother. That'd be the great time. They may time. never get out of the RV. I know. Yeah, they may never. You're coming down. down. So here we got two people from Hawaii and we're out here going up mountain roads. We have no idea where we're going. And he is correct. Right now it's like three o'clock in the afternoon and we don't have a clue where we're gonna be tomorrow morning. And that's the way we do it. I love it, that's awesome. So like always guys, thanks for watching this video on Killer RV. Thank you these guys for those awesome kind words. And other than that, we will see you guys next time.